It's Wednesday, June 8th. We're below the Grant Mars Bridge, and we're looking north on the Bismarck side of the Missouri River. And that's the old Meriwether's restaurant, and we can see people going back and forth on the interstate bridge. These benches used to sit in front of a rock wall that actually went down to the river. These are the tops of the trees that are left there. And then we're looking at the Burlington Northern Santa Fe Railroad Bridge. And then there's a, another bridge, the new Memorial Bridge, and then behind that, the Expressway Bridge. Those are the four bridges that cross the Missouri River here. And let's look at the forecasted schedule here. We're seeing that we're supposed to see a little bit of a rise today. Major flood stage still predicted for over the week. The citizens here have been dealing quite a while with the flooding we'll talk about here in a sec. Here's a new schedule for the Army Corps of Engineers. They are, are ramping up to 150,000 CFS, and they're going to hold that to August. And that's the big problem here because folks are going to have to have all their levee systems that are in place now, and they have to defend them for two months. That's a long time to defend in a flood. And uh, as of uh, Yesterday, we saw 130,000 CFS go out of the dam at 8 in the morning. We should see that through here this afternoon and then a significantly more water. Not much change in the last couple of days. About the same if you look at the last video we shot here a couple of days ago. Basically, it looks all the same here. One thing that looks a little bit different, it's a little concerning, I'll check on this. If you look closely, you can see how these two pieces of the bridge come together on this pier here. And I didn't notice this before, and this may have already been here. There is a uh, separation here at, at this particular one and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll check on that. I, I didn't notice that before and I didn't notice them on, on any of the other ones. So they did say infrastructure is of concern. Something else just to give you some perspective of where we are. This is from the Bismarck Tribune, their morning paper today and they have a lot of interesting perspectives and pictures. If you look at this photograph you can see significantly difference between coming upriver and downriver and then uh, you can also see they're doing some patrols daily to measure the velocity. There's some information in there as well. We've already lost 632 homes on the, in Burberry County on the Bismarck side and displaced upwards to 2,000 people. That rip rack project that started a few days ago, they had no rock on the other side over here. And the rock wall extends from over here all the way over to the other side. And they continue to bring that up. They have to protect the bridge on that side as well from water continuing to erode. Uh, that embankment over there where you see that truck coming over right now. So that's the situation here on the morning of June 8th as we watch a train go over the uh, Missouri High Bridge, which was dedicated in 1883. That was the first span across the Missouri River. Back in 1883 that opened and it's been running ever since and uh, it was the first bridge over the Missouri River from north of St. Louis. So a significant uh, achievement in engineering back in its day. They have the 9 o'clock meeting today. The uh, other meetings may be scheduled as needed as we continue to deal with the worst natural disaster to ever strike this community of Bismarck and Mandan, Burley and Morton County, and we'll be continuing now until at least mid-August, and this is June 8th.